Hello students, welcome back. This is a question from gate 2004 exam. They are asking, what is the minimum number of NAND gates required to implement a XOR gate? So you need to derive a XOR gate using NAND gates only. Now you very well know NAND gate is a universal gate. NAND and NOR both are universal gates and they can implement each and every logic function. Okay, so I've shown you in my theory lectures that one NAND gate is required to implement a NOT gate. One, sorry, two NAND gates are required to implement a AND gate. Similarly, you require four NAND gates to implement a XOR gate. That means your answer is four, okay? And this is the circuit diagram. Let's now prove that this one is actually a XOR gate, okay? So this is a NAND gate. Its output will be A NAND B. So this is A and B and NAND is complement of AND. So I am writing complement. Okay. Now let's analyze this one. First input of this gate is A. Second input is A NAND B. So first input is A. Second input is A NAND B. Okay. And this one is a NAND gate. Okay. So we are taking NAND of this whole thing. Sorry, the second uh, input was A NAND B. Okay. So output of this AND gate is written here. Similarly, let's write the output of this NAND gate also. So first input is A dot B whole complement, A dot B whole complement and second input is B. Okay. So B. Now let's analyze the output of this NAND gate. Both of its inputs are written here. So let me first copy down both of the inputs. It is A dot B whole complement dot B complement. Okay. This one is written here. And the next input is A dot A dot B whole complement and whole complement. Okay. Now we have performed AND of both of these. Okay. But we actually need NAND. This one is a NAND gate. So complement AND you will get a NAND. Okay. Now writing this on this side and this on this side doesn't really matter because this NAND gate is commutative. Okay. Let's solve this. This expression can be solved using De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law says you just change this sign and split the complement on both sides. Let's do that. So I'm writing it here. What you're going to get is this, okay? So this complement is split on both sides and this dot is changed to plus, okay? Now you know double complement can always be ignored. So I'm ignoring double complement from here as well as from here. Okay. Again, De Morgan's law is applicable. Let's apply De Morgan's law on this term as well as this term. So you will get A complement plus B complement dot B plus A into A complement plus B complement. Okay. I hope it is visible. Yeah. So let's open these brackets. You will get A complement B into, sorry, plus B complement B plus A complement A plus A into B complement. Okay. B into B complement is 0. A into A complement is 0. So both of these will be neglected. And what you're going to get is A complement B plus A B complement. Okay. This is the expression for X nor gate. So this is A X nor B. Hence, this circuit represents the XNOR gate. You need to memorize this circuit. Okay, learn it. Learn the structure. It's easy one. And also, you need to know all these numbers. These are important. They can be asked again and again in the gate exam. Okay.